Hey guys, hope we are doing well. Today we are taking a look at this new um, like bundle, multi-pack, special edition set that Mini GT has released. It's the Mercedes-Benz 190Es from the um, Macau. And this has three cars in it. So we've got 480, 41, 482. They're all the same exact car with the same exact delivery. The only difference on the car is going to be the number difference. So we got 9, 10, and 11. This box set is limited to 3,000. So that's all they have worldwide. That's not just like a USA number. That is all of the sets that they have worldwide. So kind of more limited, a little bit more expensive because there's three cars. I think I paid $50 for this US. But we got Mercedes licensing, TSM sticker, UPC right there, pretty plain backside, and then we just got some Mini GT around the sides. So let's go ahead and crack it open. I wasn't super excited for this when it got um, when it got uh, revealed, I guess, because I'm not this car. It's a very cool car. I know it's very iconic, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. But after seeing the actual box in person and then seeing some other people review it, I'm actually really excited to make this video. So you'll notice the picture on the front of the box is really pixelated and blurry. So I think this is an actual photograph that was taken of the number nine car during this race, which is really cool that they put that on the packaging. So anyways, the top lid just slides off like so. like that and then this is the inside so there's a couple couple spacers right there to keep everything nice and neat in here so you don't have your model shaking around or anything so just pull out the boxes and it is just regular mini gt boxes inside here so no like special interior packaging really it just holds the boxes which i actually don't mind so that's all that is and you can take this out if you want close it back up so I guess we'll go in number order. So we'll do 480 first, which is the number nine car. Mercedes-Benz 190E 2.5-16 Evolution 2, number nine, from the 1991 Macau Gia Race of Macau. So same thing, Mercedes uh, licensing, TSM sticker. There's the UPC for this specific car. And just some Mini GT around the side, so. I'll go ahead right now and take the plastic off of all three of these. And then we'll take a look at this number 480. I know some of the, uh, they've done this casting before. They've done it in um, quite a few colors. There's another box set of these um, where it's the silver ones. And I, I don't know, I can't remember if there's three or four cars in that box set, but then I think they also released one of those cars um, as a standalone. And then they've also done it in, um, they've also done it in gray and in black. And I actually have the black one with me that we're going to open today, just as a little treat to those of y'all who stay to the end of the videos. But there's quite a few uh, castings of this car. And then actually there's even more than that because there's like, I think there's one that was white and red, white and green. So there's really been a lot of these. I guess Mini GT really likes these Mercedes, but not my favorite thing ever, but I think they're kind of cool. Definitely didn't want to miss out on this box set. So taking that out of the tray. It does look really good in person. The gold, the gold color really pops. It's very shiny. Very nice. The black paint is metal flake. So there's actually a decent amount of like reflective bits in there, which I like. The gold is metallic as well. I think it looks really good, but I have to be really, really careful with this one because uh, they actually managed to put the Mercedes, um, I don't know what these are called, I forget, but the Mercedes badge where it's like sticking up off the hood, they actually managed to put that on there. So I really don't want to break that. In fact, I'm not even going to put these models in my display case. These are going to go back in the boxes. But really nice one. One of the things I love about this is that there's actually Bridgestone printing on the actual tires. We don't get that a lot. Um, in fact, 
this might be one of the first cars that's done that. I'm not sure. I don't, I have, I think at this point I have over 200 mini GTs and I, I think this is the first one I've seen that actually has tire printing. So I like that, but the wheels are kind of like that nice retro. Um, I forget what this style of rim is called, but we've got AMG and some other decals tamped into their AMG racing. Very nice metallic gold wheels. It's the same exact paint as the body, so it matches really well. There's not like a slight like hue difference, which I like. So the wheels are like that all the way around. And we've got the big number nine on the door. We've got Zung Fu speed line across the black portion. I like how they reverse the black and gold for like the text and everything. It looks really good. Bridgestone right there. Bunch of uh, racing decals down there. Uh, the name of the driver right there below the mirror, or maybe that's just one of the drivers. I think it's just one driver for this one because his name's on the window and below the mirror right there. And that is a German flag, so the driver for this car was German. Going around to the front, we have got Shell right there on both sides. Very nice front, uh, front splitter on this. It's that same gold color, and it is metal, which I really like. Got some nice venting details down in here. Um, the grill is uh, the grill is actually chrome, and then it's got like black venting ventilation mesh in like in between the chrome, so it looks really nice. And the headlights on this are just perfect, absolutely perfect. They're even they've even got the vertical lines going down like the old like the old uh, plastic headlight housing does with the nice. Uh, orange turn signal so it looks really good from the front Bridgestone speed line um, Zung Fu logo I think is what that is uh, Zung Fu on the windshield banner big old Mercedes logo on the roof in metallic silver paint and it's actually pretty nicely done and then we've got number nine again the back window has Zung Fu just like the front windshield banner and then right here on the back part behind the window we have Zung Fu again AMG on the spoiler, which is actually a really nice looking spoiler. I like it. It's nice and tall. Very nice. AMG on the side of it as well. Zung Fu right there. Shell. Very nice uh, brake light details. Acrylic, of course, but they, they look aligned horizontally this time. We've got exhaust right here, which is uh, chrome tipped, silver tipped. And then it actually goes back into the underneath of the car pretty far, so I like that. Big Mercedes logo, Zung Fu, AMG on the license plate, big old Bridgestone decal. So I think it looks really good. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really have much more to say about it. It's just really nice, classic looking race car from Mercedes. So I really like it. Now we will take a look at the other two just real quick because they're almost exactly identical to each other. So this is number 481. This is going to be the number 10 car. And as we can see, actually, no, they're not. They are not the same cars. They have different sponsorships on them. I was, uh, I was believing what Diecast Alfie said. So the number nine, as we can see, it has like Shell, Bridgestone, and it's got some uh, like Brembo, Becker, Bosch, Bilstein, all like down the side right here. And on this one, it's actually a little bit different. Instead of having Shell right here, we have a, another logo that I'm not familiar with. And then the, the orange actually wraps around down in the front splitter right here. So like the whole front splitter is different. Instead of gold, it's black and it has the orange decal on it. So that's really nice. I was, I was really thinking it was just the numbers because I watched Diecast Alfie's review. If you're not subscribed to him, please go subscribe. He does amazing content. But I guess it is quite a bit different. I guess this, this company is called Galp. So that runs all the way around the backside. Um, other than that, everything's pretty much the same. Obviously, the name of the driver is different on this one. And then we also have Auto Glass on the front banner and on the rear banner so the windshield banners are a little different um the splitters are a little bit different and then there's this stripe that goes along the back other than that everything looks pretty similar i can't really see any huge differences but there is some definitely some different like sponsorship and decal differences between these so that is cool that makes the that makes this a lot more worthwhile to open all these so now let's take a look at 482. 
the number 11 car, and I'm going to guess that this one's also different from the other two. So let's take it out. Yep, this one is a lot different, actually. So instead of having gold wheels, this one has silver metallic wheels, so that's a huge difference compared to the other two. And then instead of the Galp or the... Um, yeah, instead of the Galp, this one looks like it's pretty similar to the first one. So it has the shell on both sides on the front right here. And then it also has the gold lip. And then obviously um, for this car, different driver. So that their name is going to be right there and on the window. Um, and then also different banner. So this one just says Zung Fu on the front and back. And then no banner across the back. So this one's um, more similar to the first number nine that we looked at in terms of the livery. In fact, I think the only difference with the livery is the windshield banners and the names of the driver. But number 11 has silver wheels instead of gold. So it's really cool. I'm glad to see that there's more variation than what I thought there was. Um, actually, really, really happy with these. They look real nice. Um, I'm not a, a huge fan of this, this particular car, but... When you're looking at the box set like this, it actually looks, they actually look pretty good. You know, just uh, kind of like classic race car livery. So I like them a lot. And as promised, we also have the black one. So this is number 164, an older model. Kind of hard to find here, at least where I'm at in the U.S. We don't really see these too much anymore, but it's the same exact car, just in black pearl metallic. On the back, we got Mercedes, TSM, UPC right there. So we will go ahead and crack this open. I wanted to get the gray or the silver version of this car, the regular silver version and review them together. But I figured um, since I was already doing some of these Mercedes, now was probably a pretty good time. Plus as I was, uh, as I was telling Diecast Alfie, um, I am very rapidly uh, gaining sealed models. I think I have like 30 other sealed models right now that are waiting to be reviewed. So figured why not clear some space and open one of these models and get it off my stack. So, okay, so right off the bat, this thing is freaking awesome. So this is gonna be the street version of these race cars that we were looking at. But this one has that black pearl metallic. Look at how cool that paint is. I thought it, I didn't really, when I first picked it up and when I got it in, I didn't know it was going to be like a pearl metallic. I just thought it was going to be like a gloss black. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool. I got it for a good price, but this is freaking amazing. Look at that paint. Super, super cool. So we still have that front Mercedes badge poking up out of the hood. Same headlights. They look amazing, except they, these ones on the street car do not have the black lines across them. So you can see there's a little black line running horizontally along the uh, headlights. None of that on this one. Everything's kind of just body color. Obviously no racing decals. But the front grille looks really good. The headlights look amazing. Just very, very nice. The mirrors are painted that same body color. And they're actually pretty stiff, which is good. I like that. Wheels are very nice. They are a metallic. They are a metallic silver color. There's a badge right there. I can't really read what it says. But... Coming along back here, there's another little decal on that rear window. Nice defroster lines on this one. The race car version did not have that, obviously. You need to see out the back window a bit better. The defroster lines look nice. They're not too thick. Looks really good. And then it does have the same wing on the street version of this car, which I like. And then amazing taillights, Mercedes Benz on the license plate. Very nice uh, single exhaust right here. A little bit different than the race car version. On this one, there's two tips. On this one, there's only one. Unless that one's not right. Okay, yeah, so the race cars have two tips. This one just has one. But it's nice. It's uh, it's lipped in silver, and then it, it's black the rest of the way down. But looks really good. Taillights are incredible. We got 190E right there. And then the 2.5-16 on the other side. So... I think it looks amazing, actually. I was, wasn't really ex that excited for this one until I just pulled it out of the plastic. It looks freaking awesome. So that is going to be today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely a very, very cool set of cars today. 
glad to add, finally add some Mercedes into the collection. I think these are the first Mercedes that I have, except for like the, the big semi haulers. So really excited about it. So with that being said, if you enjoyed, please drop a like. If you're new and want to see more content, subscribe to my channel and we will see you guys in the next video.